darkness approaching. Be very careful what you're doing now. This is Pat speaking. I feel like it's time to caution, caution all of us. We all need to be cautioned. Um, I remembered last year, right on, uh, on New Year's Eve, how I got the word, uh, prepare for battle. Now, that could be spiritual, it could be physical. I'm not trying to be an interpreter right now. Let the Holy Spirit talk to you. However, some of us are playing with fire. We think that because we are saved or we believe in Jesus Christ or we have a prayer life, we're communicating with the divine Father above, our God in heaven, that we're okay. Listen, there are going to be too many people at the judgment day where God actually says to those who have even worked miracles in his name, depart from me. I never knew you, ye that work iniquity. I'm asking, begging, and pleading with you. If you have an extramarital affair, cut it loose and repent. If you were playing around with little kids, cut that loose and repent. You know what I mean when I say play. If you were out there dealing drugs or whatever you can deal, cut that loose and repent. If you're slipping and sliding, peeping and hiding, cut that loose. It, it's, it's time for change, you guys. There are women out there playing on their husbands and men out there playing on their wives. It's not necessary. And in these days, it's very dangerous because if trouble hits this country while you're in the middle of your nonsense, you might as well bend over and kiss your behind goodbye because you're going to feel the brunt of it. God is planning on judging this country from the bottom to the top, from the top to the bottom. Nobody is exempt except those who are living true for God. Don't, don't preach it. Practice what you preach. Don't tell somebody that they shouldn't lie and you're lying down in the bed with somebody else's wife or husband. You don't have that right. You don't trifle with God's grace. God is not a, 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 a what do you call it? He's not a bellhop. Okay? He's not the one to go step and fetch it. Sometimes we treat him that way. Sometimes we treat him with the utmost of disrespect. Because we know he knows all, he sees all. But you got to get your needs met. You got to do what you got to do. Come on. You really think God's okay with that? You think God's up there? Well, I know you're kind of horny down there. Well, kid, um, I'll let you slide. You know, I am the almighty God and I love you. And, you know, I got all the grace for you and everything. And poor thing, you're just so horny, huh? Poor thing, you're just so greedy. You just have to cheat those people out of their money with a slimy little contract, huh? So you can get their house and their property and all their goods. Oh, that's okay. You're still my little boy. No, God is not going that route. Don't even try it. Please, think about, think, think, think. Think about what you're doing. It's time out for all these little games that we play in church. You pastors screwing around with the sisters. You sisters screwing around with the brothers and the ushers and the deacons and the elders. You men up there 
or getting hot and bothered over the little teenagers with the little short skirts and the low cut uh, cleavages showing. And you young girls walking around bearing it all so that the brothers can struggle. All that stuff needs to stop. It really does. Serious times are coming. And people are still playing games on their cell phones and on Facebook. And everybody wants to do a, a selfie. And everybody wants to do uh, all these little, the little ice bucket challenge. And all these little trivial things. And they're funny in their time. But right now is really, really not the time. We're not supposed to walk around like we're at a funeral. I get that. But let's not act like nothing is approaching. Let's not act oblivious, totally unprepared, totally not ready, not enough water in the house, not enough things to prepare us. Some of you need to have passports in your suitcases, and your suitcases need to be packed. The danger zones, Puerto Rico, Manhattan, uh. Uh, the, 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 the West Coast for certain, California. I've been warning my niece because she lives up in, in the Bay Area. Pray, girl, you make sure you get an ear peeled to God's voice. If he says get out of Dodge, you hightail it on out of there. And don't go running around trying to find everybody. You give them their little one-time warning and you kadoodle, skedaddle. You get out of there. Don't play. Because when a tsunami comes or an earthquake comes, it is not going to sit there and say, oh, oh, wait a minute. She's got to get her, she's got to get her uh, suitcase and what else she got to get. Don't forget your keys. I I'm holding, I'm waiting. No, when that earthquake comes, forget it, baby. If you're not out of Dodge, you're going to be in, in boo-boo, deep boo-boo. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to get people serious about this time we're living in. Everybody wants to play. Everybody wants to be entertained. You guys are going to be doing nothing but entertaining the devil and the, and the, and the mortician. They're going to be getting filthy rich if they're alive. We got to be really careful, you guys. We really do. Some of you guys are going to come under demonic attack like you've never had it before. And you're not going to know what to do. Some of you born-again Christians don't even know the, the, the few words to say to get rid of an attack. Which is, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You don't even know those words. Nobody's taught you because the churches aren't teaching anything. It, I, I just don't get it. Nobody seems to be on high alert, except that I see a lot of people on YouTube. Somebody's listening. Somebody's paying attention. But you guys out there on Facebook and Twitter and all these little social medias watching all these the, the, the singers and these stars and and you're, you're, you're starry-eyed, and you're just so caught up. And, oh, he's just so cute, and she's just so pretty. I want my nose like hers, and I want my booty like hers, and I want my hips. Come on! You're not going to have hip, booty, face, nothing. If you're not hearing from God, that's why he wants us to draw close to him right now. Because when the stuff hits the fan, guess what? It's going to be too late. It's going to be too late for prayer then. It's going to be time for action. And if you have not heard from God, if you do not have a connection with God, and trust me, anytime you have static in your radio, you cannot hear what the announcer is saying. And baby, sin will cause static, and you will not hear what God has to say to warn the churches. You will not hear it because of all the sin and all the junk you got, all the distractions in your life. If 
everything but God. You can walk up and down one store to the other store and go window shopping and buy jewelry and buy shoes and buy uh, uh, designer purses and Gucci's and all kind of madness. But you don't have time to pray. You're too busy. Give me a break. Okay, I'm going to get off. I'm going to get off my war horse. I'm saying all this in love. I look like I'm mad as you know what. Mad as hell. But I'm not. I'm just scared. I'm, I'm not scared for what's going to happen because I'm not afraid to die. What I'm afraid of is those of you who die in an, uh, an untimely death or suffer from all of the craziness that's going to uh, that's going to happen will you have the faith to ask god to purify your water or to bring water out of a rock if there is no water no supply you what will you do where is your faith in your boyfriend's sex in your woman's body in that drink and that alcohol and that cigarette and that joint, that, that, that tote, that crack, where is your faith? That's serious. How can a doctor walk into an operating room and not have his tools? What is he going to do? Look at the person's body and say, mm, oh my, and watch him die? You've got to have your tools, your Bible. The name of Jesus, your faith, the, the, the walk of righteousness. That's your car. That's, that's your, your, your rite of passage right there. Okay. I'll shut up. God bless you. God bless you to get it right now. I don't mean get it right now. To get it right now. Repent, ask God to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Those of you who have anger issues, ask God to cat you take authority and cast out that anger. Ask God to take out all the hurt and poison that, that stirred up that anger in the first place and heal your heart, soul, mind, and emotions in Jesus' name. God bless you guys. Be ready. Please be ready. So you know what to do because you will be able to hear what the Spirit's saying to the church. God bless you.